Hi guys, welcome. Hi Kenny, Alicia, Kat, hello, Robin, hello. How are you guys? I hope you're well. I hope you've had a good weekend or having a good weekend. Are you good? Yay! <laughs> um, so, <sighs> details. Um, I did put it up in the chat, but it seems like Nightbot's asleep today. Nightbot, wake up. <laughs> Not you, Shadow. I know you're awake. <laughs> I know you're awake. Hello. Now, I got a, a cuppa early because Cam just ran off to work, so no cuppa during. But we've got one now. Uh, we also have a shadow now. <coughs> Thanks, Kenny. There is a discount code on this image. It is uh, Wendy Wendigo. 25 um, and it is in the event details wherever Nightbot disappeared to it's not alive today Nightbot's not working maybe hugs will help <laughs> shadow no 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 I know you want to get down there but you <laughs> okay here's my mess she hasn't got much room she's annoyed because because my watercolors are out everywhere and my Karen markers are out everywhere wow where's Nightbot I'm annoyed come on Nightbot what are you doing <sighs> Abby's my top chatter <sighs> that's so weird why is he not working Nightbot, hello, wake up, <laughs> wake up, I feel like the claw, you know, <laughs> I don't know, he's disappeared, hi Bev, hi Abby, welcome guys. I think Nightbot disappeared. I, the window is open in the background. That's so weird. I'll reopen it. I'll reopen Nightbot. Come on, man. Come on, Nightbot. What are you doing? He died. Nightbot died. There he is. You got... Uh-oh. Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny got rid of Nightbot. <laughs> She's doing the evil laugh in the background. <laughs> That's funny. I got no idea where he disappeared to. I'm going to try one last time. And if not, well, we know that Kenny did it. Oh my God, they killed Nightbot. <laughs> All right. Shadow's had enough of her little uh, messing around there. All right, so guys, I said to Nell that I would uh, just advertise this little event she's having. Uh, she's doing some giveaways for the event. It is a colouring competition. Hi, Kelly. I won't be... Nightbot's definitely died. Kenny, Kenny, you killed Nightbot. Really? <laughs> Emily, please, please get better. Please get better. <laughs> It is. It's still linked. Um, it says it's linked. It says on the thing the same as it normally does. It's weird, actually. Why aren't you working, Nightbot? I don't know. Why? Let me check. Maybe it's because I changed the photo. Permissions. Nightbot is definitely there. I've added him and he's definitely there. Oh, well. Not to worry. Not to worry. Here we go. Kenny posted... Oh, my gosh! Look! It worked! He's been revived. 
arrived. <laughs> Hi, Jessica. Welcome. Welcome, Nightbot. <laughs> Kenny. Okay, so there's where you get the Im image and uh, there's also a discount for a limited time uh, during the event. So it is a competition. Um, there is a link uh, to the event in the description. So look under there uh, where you can post your images on the community page of Nell's uh, Hollow Moon Art or the Hollow Moon Art Facebook group. Uh, you can post there too. So go check that out. Um, now, I'm a little bit funny when it comes to nudity. You guys know that, right? And uh, it's not because I'm a prude or anything like that. <laughs> because I'm not. And I appreciate naked art. Um, and I do think this image is beautiful. And Nell's done a great job. Uh, however, it's not my cup of tea. Because this is my cup of tea right here. So, um, in saying that, the image... When she presented me with this image, I said that uh, I can't do nudity. And uh, so she censored the nips. <laughs> but that was it. And um, I can't, I still, it still was too much for me. Uh, so if you do go to purchase the image, please, please know that it is a nude image. Um, and that's what you're going to expect. But I played with my image this morning. I just got onto like, I don't know what it's called on uh, on uh, Windows. I think it's called 3D Paint or something like that. And I censored my own. Ta-da! You're probably all going, oh my God, she's ruined the image. No, I have not. I saved him, that's right. He was just late. He slept in. It's Monday morning here. It is, Emily. Nudity is uh, part of the monetization and uh, you do need to say if there's nudity, blah, blah, blah. So I've used cans and watercolor paper. And uh, I'm going to use a mixture of everything today. I've got Karen markers. I've got my Windsor and Newton uh, watercolors. The reason I've got these is because I really like the red in this. It's a really nice deep red. Is that good colour here? Have I got good colour today? I don't know. I don't know. And I'm going to use this today. Ecoline watercolour ink. Um, have you guys seen these before? I don't know. I've got quite a few of them here in my little box they've changed the bottles now they've got droppers now so these are the old versions of the bottles but um i really like these especially the gold it's pretty um these are some of the eco line colors that i have some of them i don't know if they're all there hmm. anyway black i'm gonna use black <clears throat> It would have been funny if you drew on a black bikini. <laughs> well, I could have done that, but I decided that this way I can make it like a bit of a mist. You can still see a tail coming out uh, the top here, and we still get to see a pretty face, so why not? Windsor Newton gold paint, gold ink is amazing. Oh, yeah, this stuff's so cool. It looks um, it looks all weird and like. You can see this oxidized stuff here, but uh, when you shake it all up and you put it into like water, it's so amazing. I love it. I can sit and watch the gold floating around in the water. It's amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Hi, Darlene. Welcome. Welcome. Amazing. It looks like she has clouds, but this is going to be black, so it's not going to look like that for very... Cat, are you playing today? <laughs> Thank you so much. That is so generous. Oh, everyone give Cat a hug. Hug, hug, hug. <sighs> la, 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 la. Hi, Pam. Welcome. Hi Dorothy, 
welcome. I'm just flicking through and making sure I've got because I just saw the chat and then and it's like, oh, hang on, there's people that have come in and I haven't said hi to. Kat, thank you so very, 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 very much. Should I say it 20 times? Very, 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 very much. 20 times. By 20. By 100. By 500. By a million. By infinity. There you go. Anyhow, I love this. It needs to be shaken. I need a little ball bearing in it so I can shake it better. But when it's all shaken up, this colour is so pretty. <laughs> Look at all the hugs Kat's getting. Yay. Oh, thank you. It means the world to me. Anyhow, this is gold. Let's just pop a bit in my water because, you know, I can. Let's just see how it goes. It's really cool. It's hard to see in this light. Anyhow. Yeah, you can't see it under the camera. Well, that's a pain. It looks really pretty anyway. Um, I love it. It's beautiful. So the Windsor and Newton one apparently is good too, huh? That sounds good, Emily. All right. So watercolors. Now, I kind of want to use black and red together, but I think it's going to, I think it's going to, um, uh, it's going to blend in too much probably, but let's just do water over these fluffy areas. First. All over there, just wetting that page. I've just uh, popped it on a bit of wood, actually, and uh, taped it down because I wasn't sure how much water we were going to use. So I figured this was probably the safest way. It's just going to stop it from from uh, buckling too much under the water pressure. Under pressure now. I can feel it. It's rising like a storm. <laughs> bit of Johnny Farnham this. John, Johnny Farnham, John Farnham. Anyhow, I'm going to use that really pretty, pretty, pretty. I think it's cadmium red. Where did my color list go? Uh, cadmium red or cadmium red hue. I'm not sure which one it is. Cadmium deep red or cadmium red. Yeah, there's two. <laughs> they could be ran the wrong way, so I don't know. One of these two it is. Cadmium red hue or cadmium red deep hue? I think it's the deep hue. And uh, I'm just going to lay that down. And hopefully we get some bleed out on those edges, making them look a little bit soft. I decided to use watercolour. I, I, I really like watercolour and I don't do it enough, so... Um, and I like the effect and I think it kind of went well with I think Nell's already used some sort of I don't know what maybe it was gouache or something like that but or acrylic all right It is very pretty red, isn't it? Now we're going to drop some black into it. Now I have somewhere here. I have these little plastic pipettes. My sister actually brought them for me. These little plastic things here. And uh, I'm just going to put a tiny little bit of this black ink in there. And uh, I'm just going to kind of splash it on. Oh, it's dark, isn't it? I want it to bleed out a little bit. So uh, let's do 
a few. Gonna click that on there as well. Yeah, oh, it's black. No, what did you do? Gonna add a couple of drops of water. Trying to keep it in that section that we did. <laughs> if I can. <laughs> if I can. I like making a mess, of course. And let's just let that sit for a bit. And uh, I'm just going to tip my... Actually, I'm just going to add some more red. Dab it in. It's all right. That's all right. We can do this. <laughs> it's all right. Look at it. It's looking really scary right now, isn't it? And I'm going to mix it too much yet because uh, it's going to bleed in and make like a muddy colour. So we'll just try and keep it. Just going to make it run. Oh, hello. Come on, down this side. It's just a little bit here. I'm just leaning it this way. I want this bit to run into the other bit a little bit. So, oh, I just dribbled it everywhere. Kind of uh, making a mess here. Just clean that up. I got tissues. <laughs> I got tissues. <laughs> I got tissues. All right, let's let that dry so that we can come back in with the red, putting it over the top, and uh, hopefully we don't get too much of a mix going on. All right. What is that? <laughs> it's ink. Watercolor ink. I'll just zoom out a little bit. And hello, Linda. How are you? I'm just getting rid of the light reflection so you can see how it's starting to look. Hi Loretta! Welcome! What is that? <laughs> it's scary, that's what it is. <laughs> Alright, what have we got? Let's have a look at these markers. Mm. Tea is good. <laughs> Tea is good. Thank you so much again, Kat, for Super Chat. You're amazing. All right. Let's have a look at this. What am I going to do next? I'm thinking I'm going to do red trees. Nell's original image is really pretty, so I'm going to use that as a bit of a guide. Except hers is black, black and white and red, so won't be quite black, white, and red. It's going to be black and red and other colours. <laughs> Hi, Rad. Welcome. Lulu, hello. All right. Red. I think I need my colour wheel. 
Oh, I didn't rethink. I didn't think this through beforehand. Trust me. <laughs> oh dear. Let's have a look. Hmm. Um. So there's a couple of different colours I could do. I could do red, yellow, orange, blue, violet, and blue, green. Or we could just do a couple of colours. So only do complementary, which is actually red and green. Or we could do... I'm actually thinking maybe we might stick to pink, orange, and red. Like this. Pink orange and red and uh hi sherry welcome you guys are hot it's cold here whoa Karen markers. I've got orange red. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, come to Australia when it's summer and then in the winter you can go back again because it'll be winter here which is actually technically not really winter I mean it gets cold but it doesn't snow here there's a lot of areas that don't snow in Australia some do but not a lot it's warm here yeah I like that that's gonna be good it's gonna be need to need to be a lot darker though I just want to blend it in a little bit with the black and the red. So I'll bring in some red later. It's gone green. I don't like that at all. No, that was a better colour. Let my artistic flair go, you reckon? I reckon. Let's just play with it. Red. Red. It was, Kelly. Hot, hot. Actually, to be honest, I wouldn't count this summer as being extremely hot. I think we've had a hotter. I think we were actually quite um, cool this summer. We've had worse, I reckon. Ugh, gotta ring the ATU today. Uh, stupid 
app stuffed up my pay thing and I hate doing book work. I hate ringing people and I hate <laughs> the government calling the government areas especially. It never turns out well. <laughs> <laughs> you agree? I agree too. Well, hopefully it turns out like you, Linda, and it's easy and things end up working out. <laughs> hopefully. We'll see about that, eh? Oh, I really like this. It's cool. All right, so I've got a bit of red, a bit of pink, and a bit of orange. Um, I think I need to add more of that red down the bottom here. Got that cadmium red. I'm just gonna put it on my palette actually so I can mix some more water in there and make it a little bit juicier. <laughs> it's a little bit milky right now and I want it to be a little bit thinner so at least I can add water here. That's better. It's a nice rich red. Need some layers, onion boy. Every time I think of layers, I think of Shrek. <laughs> I actually like the fact that that black went really dark like that. It makes it look more opaque. Uh oh, I'm starting to mix black in there. So I'll use it up the top here, making it look a little bit more burgundy. Hey, Sherry. Oh, Helen. Hello. <laughs> Happy birthday to your granddaughter, was it? Gonna pick up some of that really wet colour. Okay, so for skin, I really like the uh, Eco line. Um, where is it? I really like this uh, pastel red. It's Eco Line again. It's good skin color. Just cleaning my little pipette thing out. Oh, Linda! Happy birthday to him! Yeah, I'm just going to get a smaller brush. That one's a little bit big for the skin area. 
Get some water. Bit more water. Just watered it down a bit. couple of black spots there but that's all right there's one on her face too so I just need to be careful when I come up and around her face It kind of goes a bit yellowy where um, I've gone over it and blended it out a little bit. I'll know that for next time. It's kind of like the black Copic marker. Uh, if you water it down enough, it goes kind of yellow. It's really weird. Just going down here. Just going to be a bit more careful down here. Starting to right but it's still going to bleed a little bit in there and that's okay watercolor bleeds right hi selena welcome my lovely dear <laughs> have you guys been up to mischief <laughs> Ah, is it Lisa? You in Lisa's one. That's cool. Alright, come on dry. I need to add some more black, but I want to wait because I think I might not go quite as dark this time. Uh, I might put this black on here. Add water. It's kind of a purpley colour. This is the uh, Karen brush marker one. I'm just going to add a little bit of black into the edges. Down into the tail here. Keeping this section nice and dark to kind of go with that really dark bottom area. I'm a bit annoyed about this. It won't move. It's being silly. That's it. Come on. Move, move, move. You're bending the paper too much there. <laughs> it's bending right here. Come on. I think we're getting build up here. I don't know. What do you guys think? She's very dark, isn't she? Hi, Tippy. Welcome. To our madness today. Honestly, I'm just happy that we've got that bottom part covered and now I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> just going back in with a little bit more of that uh, red. Pastel red. Alright, 
Now, nah, dropped it off. What do you think? I think we need more black here. But actual black black. So I'm going to go with the eco line one. But I'm not going to put it directly on there. Oh gosh, it's so black. It's like pitch black, this colour. I like it. much better I am using watercolor paper making that edge bleed out a little bit it's like follow the leader <laughs> just some water and uh, just rubbing running across the edge of it to bleed it out I think it's looking a little bit more even at the bottom here now. We get loads of cicadas here. And you know what? I used to collect them at one stage. Along with lizards and other things like that. <laughs> I think we need more red now. Do I have a red? I don't think I have a red in the in the eco line, but I do have guys reckon in this central bit here I want to make that a bit lighter I'm thinking I may be doing it that same pink color I've already done um yeah what did I use again red it's hard to get this pigment a lot of it at once
jar fly. I don't know what a jar fly is either. Sneezing and watching. Okay. <laughs> Good for you. All right. I reckon I need to add more of that cadmium red down here, up here. I think it needs that. I don't, I think the other, the pinky red color is kind of, I don't know. It's not quite right. So I'm going to go back in with my cadmium red. I'm just going to grab it and put it on my palette here so it's nice and milky and thick. Grab some water. Oh. I'm no expert, <laughs> but I still like using it. Yeah, I think that was a good color choice. It was better to go darker. Just going to push it out over that black a little bit too. Alright, I think I like my background now. I know it's dark, but I don't mind it. Uh, once it's dry, which we might get the dryer out in a minute and uh, dry her off a little bit. Just going to use that cadmium red around her neck here. Some little splotches and dots. I'm just following the grey scale. Can you just stunned him? <laughs> Can he stun Nightbot? What? Didn't kill him. It's alright. 
<laughs> Funny. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear me. I'm going to do more of this cadmium red. And I'm actually going to add a little bit of... Um, alizarin crimson hue. It is. It's a little bit darker. And uh, I'm having trouble getting, like it's not activating, so I just gotta rub over it a bit more with the water. I've made it quite neat, so it's quite milky. It's not really runny. I'm just gonna darken up those lines around her neck there. <laughs> Thanks, Rochelle. She's looking kind of strange at the moment. You know, ugly duckling stage. I'm just going to use this around her eyes. Actually, I think I might shrink my brush down a little bit. Go a tiny bit smaller. One of my little detailing brushes. Probably help if I wet the brush first, hey? She's got like kind of a mask on. Deep concentration here. <laughs> Deep concentration. <laughs> ah. Hi, Diane. Ah, oh, thanks, Rochelle. She's, um, and hello. I don't know. She's still... I don't know, I'm not quite, uh, I don't know, I'm still working. It's still working progress here. It's because it's an evil spirit. <laughs> Definitely not masculine from what's down here in the in the body part. Tell you what, I'm gonna use a little bit of black.
<laughs> with the uh, the nudity disappeared, it definitely it looks more muscul masculine. You think? Don't know. Don't know. Perhaps. Perhaps. There's lots of uh, folklore around the Wendigo or Windigo. Um, one culture it was said that you turned into a Windigo if you uh, ate human flesh, so cannibalize. been known to be associated with ice and cold, starvation and things like that. Hi Brandy! Okay, let's zoom out again. All right, now I need to put some color in. I think I need color, color, color. And she certainly needs something done with this skin color. She needs a little bit of depth in there. Let's see what we've got. like this cocoa it's kind of a purpley brown this is in the Karen marker Add some water add some shadows to the skin You're right, it is a very masculine hand. I mean, it's not really human, it's humanoid. So, it looks human, but it's not. Just realized this red should be coming down here a bit more. I'm using a bit of a mixture of everything, Brandy. At the moment, I'm using some Karen markers to add in some depth into the skin, but I've used some Ecoline inks, I've used some Windsor and Newton watercolors. <laughs> I've used a bit of everything. Just got some of that pastel red again, and I'm just going to blend some of that into that brown. 
a little bit. Let's add that red down here. She's looking very evil now, isn't she? <laughs> she looks like she's just popping out of the dust here. <laughs> Red is not color. That's the color that uh, that's the um, <laughs> that was the mix that we did before. So it is the mix of the crimson and the red. It's the same as before. <laughs> I didn't know you were writing the colors down. I'm sorry. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> This is the the lizard and crimson hue and the cadmium red together. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, my child. Forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> black. <laughs> this is from the the eco line black I'm doing now. Actually, I might do it with a really thin brush. Uh, I think I might let that dry a little bit more, but down here. We'll just do some of these details. And red is a colour. The Karen marker was called red. It's called red. <laughs> All right. What about these little antler things here? Let's do them nice and dark. Did it come out anything like you thought it was going to? It's like it never does for me. <laughs> it always comes out different. But it does it's not bad. I actually quite like it. It's abstractish, you know. <laughs> it's got a bit of a Yeah, it's got a bit of a mystical feel to it. It's not normal colored well i guess it is a mystical being so why do we color it normal <laughs> Loretta T 
demon. <clears throat> I don't like doing this kind of thing normally, so... You know what? It's okay. It's done now. It's not normally my thing. You know me, I like pretty. <laughs> Although I do, I don't mind doing some of the darker stuff. It depends. I'm going to give her black eyes. <laughs> yes it was my idea you are right I just needed help with the putting together bit getting it into writing <laughs> we're talking about the swatch book I have lots of ideas, don't I, Alicia? <laughs> Much to her disgust. <laughs> Let's do some lashes. I say things and she just looks at me like, what? <laughs> you want me to what? <laughs> <laughs> what now mum don't 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 give me that you don't really want to do that do you Alright, that face is fairly dry, so I'm just going to... It's really hard for me to move my board because it's on a board. Um, I think we'll do eyebrows... And I'm going to have to try and flick in the opposite direction. I'm not good at that. Going left. Unless I turn it upside down and give it a go. I probably should have turned it upside down and given it a go. look really scary right now don't they she needs like green eyes or something I think oh thanks guys <laughs> oh, Alicia. Very sweet. What about black hair? Black hair with white, maybe. I don't know. Let's do black hair anyway. These darker sections, at least. Hey, Alicia, she's looking very acid in colours at the moment. 
Put a little bit of St. Kilda because there's white in it still, but. <laughs> I'm talking about football teams. Just going to flick. I think you could use a fine liner too down in those really fine parts if you wanted. Boogo cats. No! No! No way! <laughs> Linda. No way! <laughs> I'm a St Kilda fan. Hubby's a Collingwood fan. Yeah. <laughs> yes way no way <laughs> so just use some more of the eco line, eco line black and uh, oh I think I need a smaller brush again though because some of those little tiny streaks of hair what have I got here? This is like a, it says 10 zeros. Mm -hmm. yeah, whatever. <laughs> yep, yeah, whatever. Is it a 10 zero? I don't know. But we are just going to do these little flicks of hair. Same thing that you do with your pencil, just with a brush. Oh my gosh, Emily, if you're still there, baby shark in my head, like after your stream, the last stream you had, it's just been sitting in there, in the back of my mind, you know, just, <laughs> I was so naive. <laughs> I remember everyone saying, you don't know what baby shark is? I'm like, no, never heard of it. I had to go ask my kids. And now... Emily sung it on her stream two weeks ago now, was it, Emily? It's still in my head. <laughs> you ordered Alice? Which Alice? Mm-hmm. Oh, the newest one, Linda. I didn't get any. I kind of went, no, I just spent too much. This Dumb and Dark Club we're talking about. <laughs> uh, my sister and I just did an order together. I got uh, Dragon Attack and, uh, and Frozen. It's like a samurai... It reminds me of a character that Cam actually did for one of his assignments for, for uni when he was studying. Just 
kind of got her hair up, it looks like, so. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, he bashed really hard on that door, hey? <laughs> oh, really? Why did they do that, um, Linda? Why did you get half? Half price. That's cool. Uh, it was uh, Happy Mail, I guess. For me, it was. Anyway, <laughs> um, I ordered some uh, glue for my... I was having trouble gluing the dust covers on my miniature, so I bought some cement. Uh, and it's supposed to be used for plastic, so I'm going to try it with, uh, with the... Uh, the dust cover and the other thing was actually something diamond painting which I didn't actually order I, so this is actually happy mail because I don't know where this came from I think my sister may have sent it to me uh, it's a diamond painting template have you guys ever tried those who who is a diamond painter <laughs> I've never tried it um, we've got a round one but I haven't actually tried it yet um, but yeah I uh, I think my sister gave it to me. I'll send her a message later and go, was that you? Square ruler. So yeah, it um, you stick it to your diamond painting and then you put in your square things and what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to make them nice and even for you. Um, so yeah. Did you say you tried it, Linda, or? Just doing some wavy lines and flicks through there for the hair. You got one, but you haven't tried it yet. Ah, oh, I have a round one too. Oh, okay, because I watched somebody doing it and uh, with the round one, and they actually used the multi-tool, like the big multi-tool on it. And I thought, oh, that could be quicker. I mean, it might not be, but... So 
I've got some nice thick lines up in the hair up here and then I've got some really nice thin ones going on as well. And I'm just going to make them flick all over here, all the way down into the depths down here. Oh, I'd kill for that air, hey? Nice and long. Nice and long. Let's just add a few down in there. Alright, let's see. Let's zoom out and see how she's looking. I think she looks awesome, actually. <laughs> Slow for confetti areas. Oh yeah, true. What are we talking about now? <laughs> I'm sorry. And miniatures! I did a new miniature. Yeah, I, uh, Robin, I did normal size dots. I broke it up and put it into my diamond painting pen and it worked fine. Um, I think I need to add some white though, so um, I'm thinking I might try the white ink. I don't know. Let's have a look. I got some over here. I got another. It's Royal Talons as well, or Eco Line brand. The ones that I sent were the mini, mini, the micro ones, weren't they, Selena? Is that what you got? Just shaking it to get all the stuff off the bottom. And uh, I'm actually going to use a little tray for this because it's very wunny. That's very wunny. <laughs> That's very wunny. Oh, see? Very wunny. <laughs> Alright, let's try this. I'm not sure if this will work. It might soak into the paper too much, so we'll have to have a play with it. Yeah, I think it's going to soak in too much. No good. We'll have to use the uh, gouache instead. I got 
wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Oops, I dropped some gouache on the floor. Shh. I didn't do it. Nobody saw me do it. Can't prove anything. <laughs> I'm going to grab a different brush for this though. That one's not good. Don't be scared. You'll be fine. To be, it's awesome. Dummy painting is a load of fun. It's really easy to do. There's nothing like you. Don't, I'm saying that it takes time, but it's not something that you have to really think about, which is cool. I think that's why I like to like them. That actually went blue where I did that stroke of the uh... Uh, it's not good it's freaking me out <laughs> I don't want to cover over the black too much alright I don't like that either trial and error today. Shadow's been around. You missed her earlier. She was here. She was here. And she was uh, having fun. I'm just going to use a gel pen. Which isn't even working properly. Oh man, this is sad. It's sad. It's because it's on the watercolour paper. You know what? It doesn't have to be much, does it? It's just so weird. Posca will go. <laughs> Posca will just disappear into the paper. Posca doesn't go very well on watercolor paper. But let's give it a go. And I don't want it too thick. You'll see, it just disappears into the paper. It's just disappearing. It's not even appearing in that paper very well. It just kind of soaks in, disappears. It's better than nothing though.
Okay, I think, my opinion, that I need to, just with the mix of red that we did earlier, just for Alicia's sake there, <laughs> I think I just need to do a few flicks of that through here. Just carefully because it's just going to blend out that black if I'm not careful. Just flick a few areas. That's a bit better. I just needed to blend a little bit of colour in there. It wasn't quite right. <sighs> this is actually red in the brush marker. It'll come out kind of pinky coloured, but... I'll just show you, zoom in a bit so you can see what I'm actually doing. I'm just filling in some of these white areas a little bit. Just darkening up her lips as well. Really little details now. Hi Lulu! Darkening up the lips a little bit, adding some red on the fingernails. Sorry about the camera angle there. Oh, Riggs! Cute Riggs! Add a little bit of red. the face and fingers a little bit. I would have thought that Indi the Windigo would have had like claws so hands are definitely not where I thought that would have gone. There you go. She's leaning out of the scary mist <laughs> into into the into the picture here and uh, I'm just going to mix a bit of that black with the black eco line with that red marker and I'm just going to just add those trees in a little bit more in that background there doing some of the details Bringing them forward a little bit more.
She's definitely dark and scary looking, isn't she? What do you think? Kenny? <laughs> she's a little bit... She's definitely evil looking now. Anyhow, I'm not sure if that's what Nell was expecting, but um, I'm quite happy with it. I'm happy that she's she's uh, covered up a bit and she's not completely um, naked anymore. <laughs> yeah, that looks good. There's another one here. I think that's supposed to be a tree. And uh, maybe. And her tail. Oh, we missed her tail. She has a tail, right? And uh, I think I need a bigger brush though, maybe the next size up, just using that same mix. I think we'll just make it, make it come out the top there, I think. There you go, just coming out of the dark, scary blackness down here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's okay, she says, it's just not for me. I think I'm going to get a big fat brush, maybe this one here, and uh, I'm just going to put a little bit of that black on there, trying not to get it everywhere. Trying not to. Need more. I'm just getting a really black finger here. Oh! Well, now I've got a black spot there. We'll have to let that dry without moving it. Don't want to move it. <laughs> I want to move it. <laughs> I just sprayed black everywhere. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> you should see my finger, Abby. Look at it. It's gone yellow. <laughs> yellow finger. Ah, oh, that's annoying. It's going to take a while to get off. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I got it on everything. That's because that's what I do. I make a mess. <laughs> I 
I need to get rid of some of that. Chair squeaky today. Every time I move, it goes. You don't come off my finger, even with acetone. <laughs> he does not like me this black. I'm going to use the edge of a tissue and just soak up that massive black dot there. Obviously this massive black dot will go matte once it's dry. Oh no, I did alright. It's just my finger where I was flicking that thing. I should have wore a glove for it. But uh, we're going to have a yellow finger for couple of days. I'm just going to use my dryer. And just dry that off a little bit. Gonna roll my tape off. Yep, didn't quite roll enough then. Oh well, I just pulled the bottom off. Well, I think she came out alright, considering what we had at the start. <laughs> Keeping in mind that I did alter the bottom section, so I didn't have to try to cover over it with the black, and also being family friendly channel, let me cut that out. Okay, let's finish the last bit here. Give it a nice white border so it's easier for me to scan or photograph, whichever. That was just painter's tape too, blue painter's tape. <laughs> and it was a mixture of everything. Oh, look at that finger. That's just sad. I'm gonna have to go soak my hand for a week. <laughs> oh, dear me, that colour's not very good either. I 
it's a little better. It is a lot more pink than red, I think, but I really like it. It's come out awesome. I love the way the watercolour looks. On there. Wishy washy dark. Nice. Very nice. Well, guys, it's an early one today. We did well. Oh, wait, I've got to show you my, my cute little miniature. Ugh. Let's pull it down here. There we go. I'm pretty sure it's spring. Like, it could be autumn. I don't actually know. <laughs> the one I'm doing now could be spring and this could be autumn. Who knows? But uh, let's just come up close a little bit there. There we go. Are you ready? How sweet is that? It's going alright. <laughs> I love this little fruit thing down here. This is so cute. I just got some cobwebs there. Oh, look. The house is just so old. It's got cobwebs. This little folded umbrella thing here. There's an umbrella there. There's supposed to be a kite in it, but it made it look weird. If the kite was, like, pretty coloured, I would have gone, yeah, that's cool. There's a little... In here, there's a little game of um, checkers or something on the table with some glasses and vase. It's very cute. These ones don't have music, but they've got lights. They're cool. They're string lights. You kind of stick them to the back wall. It's really cool, actually, the way that they work. Um, but yeah, I've just started the next one. Amongst all my mess here. So the lights come like this. Come like this, this, this uh, weird looking string. And then you got to put it all into this tiny little tin, which I'm still working on. So this could be spring. I don't know if this is summer or spring. I don't know. Little drawer for the batteries. Little drawer there. So you can change the batteries. Oh, it's actually stuck in there. It does come out. <laughs> I'm not going to try, eh? Here we go. There you go, batteries there. <sighs> but yeah, and these are supposed to close too, so you can travel with them or close them up. Given that it's a gift, hey? Very pretty. Very pretty. Anyhow, that's it. That's my my stuff for you today. <laughs> Helen, thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. And a big thanks to Nell. Make sure you grab this with the discount uh, from her Etsy page. And I will see patrons on Thursday and you guys again on Friday for some more of Captain Marvel. On Thursday, we're starting Christine Karen's forest something and I just put my tin in the ink. <laughs> I need to clean up. <laughs> Sorry. I need to clean up. <laughs> but um, I'll take a photo of this. So it's actually more pink than red. The color's not quite right here but uh, I'll scan it up and you can see it. But bye, guys. Thank you again. Thanks, Kat, so much for Super Chat today. And thank you all to my mods and everyone else and Alicia. And um, have a great day, evening, afternoon, wherever you are.